Hi! <laughs> How's it going? Did you do the 24 hour love challenge? How'd you do? I did it. And I gotta tell ya, um, it was a challenge. Not because I'm a, I'm not a nice, lovey person, because I, I am, it's my nature to be um, probably too nice, but it was a really great exercise because it illustrated to me uh, some of the things I still need to work on. Um, like not letting the stupid little annoying things annoy me, but it was good in general. It, you know, I had, um, not profound results, but I found that I was able to tolerate those annoyances a lot easier. I think I'm going to expand it to a 48 hour challenge and try again and see how that works out um, but it was definitely worth the try it was worth it if you're if you're just watching this and you didn't watch the four the, the 24 hour love challenge video um, the challenge was this to give yourself 24 hours to just meet everything with love um, any kind of adversity whether it's somebody that's getting on your nerves or some sort of situation you're in that's annoying you. Um, instead of having your your pre-programmed typical knee-jerk reactions, take a moment and and deal with those in love. I'm not saying you have to love these these things. Like I used the example of traffic. If you're stuck in traffic, who loves being stuck in traffic? Uh, maybe you do, but I think most people don't love being stuck in traffic. But instead of Oh, it's traffic. Find a way to look at it in a more loving, positive way. Like, oh good, now I have more time to listen to the radio. My favorite CD or whatever. If you find a way to, find, to turn things into a, a, a positive, loving situation. Look at things the way that your inner being would look at them. And your inner being looks at everything with love. Believe it or not, it does. The things that you don't love, your inner being is loving regardless because your inner being is love. So um, that's the 24 hour love challenge. Give yourself 24 hours to do it. And again, I did it. It was a little bit challenging, but I enjoyed it because it really made me pay attention even more so to things that I usually just do on autopilot. So I'm going to try it again, but this time I'm going to do a little longer. I'm going to do 48 hours. Um, <laughs> and you know what? It's kind of silly to say this is a challenge and put a time limit on it because this is probably a way that we should be living in general anyway to greet all aspects of our life with love. But, you know, we're, you know, many of us are still learning to change our behaviors and it's, it's just very easy to stick in that habit those patterns of knee-jerk reactions and oh there's that annoying person or oh I gotta go to work today and I hate my job or oh that that the, the one guy that's always at the copy machine or oh, the gas station that I go to is so far away you know, whatever it is we're, it's so easy for us to focus on the little annoyances of everyday life and if we can just practice looking at them differently looking at them through the eyes of love it will really, it, it'll change your life because the vibration you're putting out is, is what's prepaving your future. So, instead of saying I'm going to do it for the rest of my life from this point on, which could seem a little overwhelming, we'll just do it in, in blocks. So, the 24 hour love challenge, did it, done. I'm going to expand it now to a 48 hour love challenge and I'll probably expand it to a week long and then a month long. And then by then it should be a habit. We'll see. We'll see how good I do. Let me know how you did. Put it in the comments. If you have any other ideas of challenges that you want me to talk about or try out, let me know and, and we'll see how we go with that, okay? Alright, so I love you. Go love everything <laughs> and have a fantastic day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.